Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. A fire in the battery warehouse of the First Wind Project in Kahuku continues to smolder more than 36 hours after it began. And now some Kahuku residents are questioning whether First Wind has done enough to protect the community from the potential of toxic smoke. KITV4's Andrew Pereira has more in our top story at 5. Kahuku resident Kent Fono Imoana shot this video at the height of the fire. Good sized fire going off up in Kahuku, right below that turbine. That, 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 that doesn't look like healthy smoke. The fire began early Wednesday morning in a warehouse that holds batteries for First Wind's 30 megawatt wind farm. The fire made the warehouse unstable, and it's likely the smoke contained toxic chemicals, so firefighters allowed the building to burn. It probably included the, the casing of some of the batteries, which now releases the uh, content. And these are lead cell batteries, so it's an acid base. The sheer amount of potentially toxic smoke has Fono Imoana and other Kahuku residents concerned. My concerns are for the downwind areas of Ko'olau Law, there's Wailei, Paumalu, Pupukea, Sunset Beach, um, and all of this fallout has been added to our watershed. Robert Nozawa of Nozawa Farm says the plume looked frightening. What's the concern if there had been no wind or if the wind was a different direction? I would definitely evacuate, yeah. Just, just out of personal concern. If the smoke had blown toward Kahuku, the fire department says it's highly speculative whether evacuations would have been ordered. That's a science-based question that really is difficult to answer without having a lot more uh, time to process it in terms of using uh, tools to model the plume. Firefighters used a dry chemical to control the blaze, but only after HECO delivered 1,000 pounds to first wind. Fono Imoana says this is the third time the battery warehouse has been impacted by flames, and he questions why First Wind did not have fire suppression chemicals on site. We were given representations by, by um, I don't want to name names, but by the First Wind representatives that they, that they will install those measures. Andrew Pereira, KITV4 News.